Welcome to our first installment of A Rather Starve. Today we have California Charcoal, uh, activated charcoal peel-off mask that claims to remove blackheads and unclogged pores. At the end of this video, I'll let you know if I should have spent my money on food or I'd rather starve and buy this. All right, before we unbox this thing, let's go do some first impressions of the packaging. Um, it claims to have 2.8 ounces. We paid about $20 for this, so it works out to about maybe $7 an ounce. Um, just three simple steps apparently is just apply, peel, and reveal. All right, so let's open it. What came in the box? Um, obviously, the face mask came in the box. Some packaging that's unnecessary. And a sample of their cleanser with some instructions. So the cliff notes on the instructions is that uh, it works best if you have, uh, if you open up your pores using a steam towel, which I just did, and I, um, I left my face a little damp. And uh, you apply it, uh, avoiding the eyes, and put as much layers as you necessary to, um, to cover everything. Uh, whatever you want to cover in your face. So, let's apply it. Shoot. And I do want to mention that I do have a little bit of facial hair on my mustache, so I'll let you guys know how does that uh, affect the results. So, so far the, the application is, um, is not going as well because, um, how would you describe this? It's not as thick as we expected, so we are having, uh, having to put on multiple layers. Um, for my, what I believe is that the, the person in the picture used the entire bottle or multiple bottles on the, the face because there's no way one bottle is going to have this kind of um, effect on their entire face. So, so far, it's, uh, it's not coming out the way we expected, um, but by the looks of the image, it looks really clean and, and her, her entire face looked dark and black. Uh, mine, however, as you can tell, is, uh, it's, it's, it's nothing close to it. So, uh, I guess we'll just sit here and let it dry, and um, I'll, keep, I'll keep you guys updated in the next couple of minutes on um, how this is going to turn out on the peel. All right, guys, so it's been about 45 minutes to maybe 50 minutes since we applied this thing. So, so first off, I'm a little disappointed in how long it took for this, um, this mask to, to, to cure. Uh, right now, I feel my face re feels really constricted. Um, like, it's tight. I, I feel like it's, um, it, it feels leathery, almost like a, like a, a smooth surface of a, of a brownie. Uh, so right now we're gonna go ahead and peel this off, and then um, you want to peel this off for me, John. Instruction says to start uh, on the outer edges and roll your fingers in, and uh, try to get like a sweet spot and start peeling.
yeah, so it hurts when you're peeling it. Uh, if you accidentally get on any of the uh, your hairs on the um, your hairline, yeah, it does hurt a little bit. It feels as if it's about to drag it off. I, I would recommend avoiding um, your eyebrows. Where's the box at? Um, but yeah, oh shit, I think maybe messed up. Yeah, in this picture, she avoided the eyebrows. Oh, <laughs> ah, damn. Oh, fuck. So let's examine uh, what was peeled off, and I will let you. First off, I am not an avid washer of my face in terms of like deep cleaning or any other facial mask. For that matter, I don't. I don't like scr have a face scrub when I shower. Um, so I expect to have a lot of blackheads on this thing. This uh, face mask. Uh, and it doesn't seem like there's anything that was really peeled off. I don't know if, uh, how close we get this in, on the camera, but I don't know. It's um, okay. So, uh, hmm, I'm extremely disappointed because uh, we, we paid $20 for this, and it didn't seem like it did uh, what it claimed to do to remove blackheads and pores. I, uh, from the picture, the micro, uh, I understand this picture is uh, magnified to show um, all the dead skin and uh, blackheads that was taken out, but on, I'm, I'm looking at it as close as I can and I, on both sides. You know what? Holy shoot, John. Wow. Wow. I, I take that back. I don't um, you you guys won't be able to see this on camera, but there's um it yeah, I take everything I just said in the past 5 minutes back. It did take up a lot of uh it looks like uh little spikes out of my face, which I assume is like uh, maybe just random hairs or blackheads. Wow, it does work. Holy shoot! I know you don't you don't want to touch this, John, but it's when you do it when you peel off yours. All right, cool. So we're getting this video right now. Uh, would I pay for this again, or I, I would I advise you guys to pay twenty dollars for this uh, face? What is this called? Shoot, this peel off mask. Yeah, I would. It's you have to really look at it really close to see everything that is really pulled off. It's it's crazy. Like every single, not even square inch, but every single piece of this thing has some kind of spiky thing on it, which I assume is blackheads. Yeah, so I um I would rather starve and buy this product than um, spend twenty dollars on food. It, uh, with the application, we use about maybe one quarter on my face. We use another quarter on John's face. It feels like you have two more applications with this, which works out about to about four applications. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and um, hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next episode of I'd Rather Starve.